。對啲外國嘅平局，所以啲外國嘅平台咧講明咧就話，即係佢唔會暫時唔會處理嚟自香港即係執法當局嘅誒要求啦。即係如果佢唔配合嘅話，即係警方諗住點樣做咧，同埋會唔會可能？即係動用誒《光法》嘅權力咧，即係封鎖某啲網站或者通訊軟件，譬如講 Telegram 咧。第二個問題係咧，我哋可以證實咧，即係喺呢個《光法》嘅執行細實施嘅細則當中咧，其實係主要由北京當局係幫香港去做。有冇解釋下保安局喺呢個細則嘅立法當中嘅角角色係乜嘢？嗱，首先咧，我哋而家嘅其中一個措施咧，係要求個人或者網絡服務供應商等等咧。係移除一啲信息，而嗰啲信息咧係警務處長合理地相信咧係可能導致有危害國家安全嘅罪行發生嘅。所以第一啊，呢、這、一個規限咧係嚴格嘅。第二，我哋係只係要求佢去移除或者去令到他人不能夠再接收呢啲信息。我哋同佢發放呢啲信息所涉及嘅罪行咧，係會按照現有其他香港法律去處理嘅。咁所以首先大家明白，今次制造嘅細則嘅範圍咧，其實係只係喺某一個範疇嘅規限嘅。第二喺資訊自由方面，香港係開放嘅，所以任何人士喺資訊發放方面，只需要符合香港嘅法律咧。佢係同我哋平常生活咧，我哋一向所做法係冇差別嘅。第三，不同嘅公司，佢作出不同嘅決定咧，佢考慮嘅理由，或者佢講出嚟嘅理由咧，都可以係佢自己個人公司嘅利益嘅理由嘅。但我哋呢度係要求咧，係對香港整體利益，第一係維護國家安全嘅利益。第二呢、这個都符合公眾嘅利益，而到去保障我哋整體香港喺資訊自由方面，既可以行使我哋日常啊嘅一啲啊運作，亦都符合我哋法律上邊嘅原則。個細則係咪由北京主要？唔係個細則係咪主要由中央負責咧？主要係由中央草擬咧？你哋有冇角色？啊，個細則嘅制定咧，係由我哋國家安全委員會嘅制定嘅。國家安全委嘅事情咧，我哋係唔會公開嘅。咁我想問下咧，即係誒而家喺國安法嘅誒實施細則底下咧，就賦予咗警權，即係佢哋相當大嘅警權啦。咁就想問翻，如果警方喺即係執行呢一啲誒即係做法嘅時候有違規嘅情況，咁究竟個懲罰機制係點，或者係邊一個去即係監督住誒警方去做呢一啲事咧？另外就係即係誒當。呢、这個警方去做呢事嘅時候，咪違即係凌駕咗喺呢個基本法或者係甚至係即係所有法律上面咧，點樣去保障翻即係一個嫌疑犯佢本身應該有嘅人權咧？最後就想問翻兩位就係誒，而家唱榮光係咪即係屬於係犯法嘅咧？應該啊，警務人員喺行使佢權力咧，都一定要守法嘅。我相信呢一個咁嘅要求咧，啊多次特區政府都講得好清楚嘅。喺行使呢個權力嘅時候，其實係不同嘅制約嘅。例如喺某啲方面咧，係要經過法庭批准嘅。剛才我講過啦，有行使喺有組織及嚴重罪行條例，又或者反恐條例嘅一啲權力咧，都係要法庭批准嘅。啊，今次我哋制定呢七個措施咧，我哋只係俾警務人員。有需要而適當嘅權力嘅，只係俾到咁多嘅啫。啊，我哋認為呢個權力係適合去履行國家安全法所要求特區政府履行嘅責任同埋義務嘅。至於任何人違反法律咧，佢都一樣係要負責嘅。無論呢個係市民，或者係政府，又或者執法人員。The seven measures that were announced、uh, yesterday and gazetted, actually, among the seven measures, four measures are current practices、uh, in Hong Kong law. 
For example, the power to search. In general situations, it will be conducted under a warrant issued by the court. But in exceptional circumstances, we are likely, such as uh, evidence may be destroyed uh, in a short period of time, or the uh, person responsible may have a chance to escape. Uh, this situation, when the police officers faces it, then they may have to search, they, they can search the premises uh, without applying for a search warrant for reason, as I have mentioned. Such practice actually exists in current laws, such as uh, when police have to do the similar thing uh, under the arms and ammunition ordinance, or when the ICAC uh, exercise their powers under their uh, relevant laws. Uh, in regard to confiscation, restraint of assets, this is already uh, the practice in our Hong Kong law in the Organizing Serious Crimes Ordinance or the United Nations Anti-Terrorism Measures Ordinance. Another measure which requires people to uh, show up at a certain place to answer questions and to produce uh, materials, again, is a practice currently in the Organized Crime, Organizing Serious Crimes Ordinance and the United Nations Anti-Money Laundering, uh, Anti-Terrorism Ordinance. So these are all the current practices which we extend to cover uh, the new offenses created by the national security law. There is another practice which only ICAC officers has uh, under the present Prevention of Bribery Ordinance when uh, officers of the ICAC can require a person under investigation to surrender his passport through an application to the court. So we are extending this power so that uh, in respect of uh, national security offenses, then the police officers can apply the law. So all these four measures uh, are measures that are currently uh, in the Hong Kong uh, statutes. In regard to interception uh, and covert surveillance, uh, again, this is uh, a measure that is currently uh, in place in Hong Kong. But in regard to offenses or potential offenses in relation to national security matters, then chief executive will be the authorizing officer. This is not uh, a practice uh, that is peculiar to Hong Kong. In a lot of jurisdictions, including Western countries, in matters relating to, sec uh, to national security, uh, there are practices that the government officials, such as ministers or prime ministers, can issue authorizations for interception or covert surveillance. Each place, of course, has their own uh, safeguards uh, and scrutiny uh, as regards the exercise of the power. In our case, the exercise of this power will be scrutinized by the National Security Committee. And the National Security Committee may appoint an independent person to assist the National Security Committee to scrutinize uh, the exercise of such power. So this, again, is not entirely new. Uh, in regard to taking down messages on the internet which uh, may cause uh, occurrence of offenses in relation to national security. This also uh, is a practice uh, that is being done in a lot of overseas countries when they have powers to take down messages in public interest or in relation to various uh, offenses. What we do now is the police has to have reason to believe that such information may cause occurrence uh, of offenses in relation to the national security law. 
and the person responsible or the service company that provides the service then have a duty to take down. So this is a measure that is being practiced uh, by other jurisdictions in different places so as to protect, protect either public interest, various uh, interests, and, and also public, uh, national security interests as well. Uh, there is also a measure which requires uh, foreign political organizations or their agents or Taiwan uh, po political organizations or their agents when they are in when they have activities in Hong Kong and the Commission of Police believes that for the prevention and investigation of offenses in relation to national security, then he can require uh, such persons or organizations to provide information. 